Retelling a story takes practice. Children are not aiming to remember every word of the story, but it must include key elements. It should include the main characters, where the story happened, what was the problem, and how it was solved. Because there is so much to remember, it's really good to start practicing with a story that's familiar, a story that they've read a lot of times before. Something like a fairy tale or a traditional tale that they may have heard in the classroom and at home. I particularly like these Marks and Spencer's books because they have illustrated vocabulary pages where you can check that your child understands some of the main words they're going to be reading. And that's really important because they won't be able to tell you what happened in the story if they didn't understand it. And you can use these pictures again when you're telling the story back afterwards. Once you've read the story and understood it, you might find it useful to print off a page like this, which is a story map, or better still, make one together before you retell the story so that you have some prompts giving you ideas about what happened next. Once upon a time there were three billy goats who wanted to go across the bridge for some grass, but there was a troll underneath. Little Billy Goat went over the bridge first, but the troll stopped him. He said, don't eat me, there's a bigger goat. Then, okay, you can go past it, said the troll. Next went Middle Billy Goat. He went over the bridge, then the troll stopped him. Please don't eat me, said Middle Billy Goat Gruff. There's another big Billy Goat. Okay, then you can cross. Next went Big Billy Goat. He was very big. He said, he said Don't eat me or I'll shove you into the water. Then he did, and they all crossed the bridge and ate the grass. The end. Finally, beware. I'm saying that um, I like these books, but when I go to the end of them, you have to just notice and take care that things like the letter sounds are taught differently in school at the moment. So, for example, say has it down as s, a, y, which then doesn't say say. And children are actually taught s, a, which can then be blended to make say. So just look at it carefully with a critical eye.